Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I got from the online beauty retail store Hush. Hush sells a bunch of different cosmetic brands and specifically they sell some brands that make knockoff eyeshadow palettes. So they do palettes that cost normally like around $50 and they sell them for like 10 to 15 to $20 I think at the most. So I was curious about this and I'm gonna show you my first impressions of these products. First palette I'm gonna show you is the Retro Love Palette. This one I was trying to get my hands on for so long, it was sold out and now I have it. It's by Bad Habit, and Bad Habit makes a couple of these makeup palettes I have here. Side note, I don't know if this matters to you, but I definitely appreciate it. All these makeup palettes have really cute names, and I just love how well the names of all the shades go with the whole theme of the palette. Um, this one has a lot of different colors, a lot of mustards, and just generally like kind of hippie 60s style stuff, which super excited to try out. I'm gonna try to swatch one, which should I try? I should try like a matte and a shimmery. So Revolution, oh, let's try Icon. It's this like greenish yellowish light. Ooh, that is super metallic. Let's try Rebel. That is right here. It's a mustardy color. Wow. That definitely comes off really pigmented. The next makeup palette is also by Bad Habit. This is the Aura palette. It has some very, very, very bright colors in it, which is super out of my comfort zone, but it's good to have. Um, it has some gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery, metallic, almost glittery, warm shades like Soul and Manifest right here. It has a bright neon yellow, that one's name is energy it's got a gorgeous turquoise shimmer shade called ecstasy just a bunch of really powerful colors so let's see how this bright yellow comes up how about that wow that is crazy they're all coming off really pigmented so i definitely would go for it if you're not like a super picky like have to have the original brand and you're looking for a knockoff so far bad habit palettes very pigmented. Next is the Bad Habit palette that I used for my makeup look today. This is the Inferno palette and it is a direct knockoff of the Urban Decay Heat palette. And I've wanted that palette for so long, but I just didn't go for it. But uh, yeah, this is 100% worth it. I will tell you the pigmentation that came off on my lids without wetting the brush, nothing gorgeous. I'm in love with this palette. It's all really warm hot shades, oranges, reds, and it has some light warm tones too. Even the um, the lightest shade for the highlight is kind of a warmer tone, which is really good for green eyes, warm toned skin. I mean, really anyone can wear this, but I've been looking to wear those like crazy, crazy colors. Wow, I don't know how you makeup gurus do this because I'm already running out of space. Oh yeah, they use your wrists, right? Yeah, that sounds good. I have Bonfire on, let's do that one. I like that shade. Look at that, that is so freaking dark. So dark and super blendable and smooth too. Let's try Blaze, ooh, this is a gorgeous metallic color. These Bad Habit palettes are really impressing me. Let's try, I wonder how well you can see White Hot from here. Hopefully you can see that, that's the lightest shade. It is still super pigmented. This is a palette for some really cool looks, I will say. The next palette I got is the Aphrodite palette. It's 18 colors. It's also by Bad Habit. Ooh. <coughs> this is another one I'm so excited to use. It has a red. Let's see that red, like right off the bat. Let's, let's just, oh my God. It's right there. Can you see it? Hot pink right there. Let's try this golden yellow. Holy moly, that is so awesome. Like it has like gold flakes in it. It definitely blends out and kind of, I'm guessing with these like sparkly ones, uh, the ones that have heavy, heavy sparkles, they do look like they're gonna have some fallout and they do blend out a little bit. So you wanna maybe wet the brush or pack them on when you use these really, really sparkly ones just to keep them in place more. This one's a big one. This is the Midsummer Night palette by Bad Habit. It is 30 colors. Whoop, lost a little plastic thing. <laughs> Some of these over here are gorgeous shimmery metallics 
that have glitter in them too. Um, there's a lot of light, pretty, dainty, glittery light shades. It's kind of like a palette I would go for if you're a person that usually goes for neutrals but wants a couple different colors to try out. So far, I will say the matte shades, if I kind of brush, brush against them, the matte shades will stay in place. But I'm noticing a little bit of the, the glittery, shimmery ones, like super glittery ones, kind of powdery, fallouty, might fade away. Definitely suggest the, ooh, almost dropped it, wetting the brush, maybe. The next palette I have is by Face Candy. This is the Sugar Palette. It's 18 eyeshadow colors, and they're all named after sugary things. Yeah, pretty much all food, like, themed names, and I think it's really cute. Definitely a palette you could do a lot of like different looks with, I would say. You know, you got some darks, you got some lights. You don't have any blacks, but you have like a dark, dark brown. The last palette I have is the Unicorn Glow Palette. This is the highlight collection from Face Candy, and I'm wearing one of the shades today. I am wearing Dream, which is a kind of like a champagne-y warm highlight. They also have Wonder here, which is a green a stardust shade which is your typical really really super white highlight celestial which is a blue enchanted which is a gold and fantasy which is a purple what's that word when things look one color duochrome i feel like these are really duochrome i, I don't know i don't know what makeup is honestly i mean i do but i just don't know <laughs> the terms probably duochrome they do they look like they have multiple colors in them so stardust is a white but it also has like pink hues in it and little flecks of pink are in all in in the dream color too i don't know i, I just think that these definitely give a good dimension and they're fun to play around with because they're a bunch of cute colors right I'll leave all links to the products down below in the description bar so you can check them out. So those are all the makeup palettes I have to show you today. I hope you like this video. If you did and you want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the little notification bell in the bottom corner of the screen so you get notified every time I post a new video and you don't miss one. If you do want to see makeup tutorials, definitely let me know in the comments. Leave a nice comment and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!